Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some easy veggie and meat stuffed bell peppers. This just has all the vegetables and colors of the summer with a delicious roasted bell pepper and some tasty pepper jack and mozzarella cheese. I love this. Please check out my ebook in the description box. And guys, take a look at everything that I'm going to be using. Now, I almost hesitate to call this a recipe because really this is just something I do when I have tons of vegetables in my refrigerator that I don't want to go off or I just have an overload of vegetables from my garden. I'll be honest with you, I really didn't measure. So just take this more as an inspiration than a concrete recipe, okay? So I am gonna be using four bell peppers. I do think for a recipe like this, you do need some that are kind of big and kind of blocky because you wanna be able to stuff a lot of goodness all up in there, okay? I don't know what I'm trying to tell you, okay? So I'm gonna be cutting these in half and then I'm going to be taking out the seeds but I did leave that little part at the top and honestly that's mostly because I want it to be cute okay and but you can cut it out if you don't like it all right you could also do this same thing with other peppers like poblano peppers or even jalapenos if they're very large but you're going to need more peppers now I'm going to cover these in olive oil and I'm going to give these a jump start in the oven at 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes until they have a nice roasted you know color on a nice good color on them because y'all know color equal flavor baby we know this okay and I don't want my bell peppers to be too um crunchy so now I'm putting in half a tablespoon of butter as well as about a teaspoon of olive oil and I am going to go in with about half of an onion and just a few baby carrots that I cut up. I'm putting in the carrot first because they're a little harder and they're going to need a bit of a jump start on the other vegetables. When I saute this after about two minutes I'm going to add some salt to help draw out the moisture and season everything. I had plenty of green beans in the fridge so I just chopped a few of them up fresh and I threw them in there. Remember, replace any vegetable you want with some other vegetable that you have. Garlic, of course, and fresh thyme. Thyme is like my favorite herb, so I'm gonna put that in there as well with some corn. I'm using corn instead of rice, so you could really do half of a cup of rice, say you have leftover rice, that works well. I'm putting in two small zucchini, like a small squash and a small zucchini. But this is the same equivalent as using like one medium sized squash. I'm just gonna season all of this to my taste with some Zazan Tropical. And y'all know me and Tony go way back like Cadillac. Okay, we gotta use him. And I'm using this like salt. I will also be adding in some garlic pepper seasoning as well as just a little bit of garlic powder, some salt free Cajun seasoning. And I'm just gonna end up just, you know, doing this to my taste. If you don't have these seasonings, don't feel pressed. You guys know I often use Vegeta and other seasonings. That works well too. Just do a simple seasoning base that works for you and your family. The point is, is that you wanna make sure you don't have food waste. So this is one of those recipes that's good for that. I'm gonna cook these vegetables in total for about five more minutes. And then I'm going in with some leftover kidney beans that I had. So I threw those in as well as some cherry tomatoes. I have so many of those in my garden. It just makes everything really fresh. Now at this point, I don't want to cook it too much longer because I don't want the tomatoes to get too squishy. So I'm just going to toss everything around for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. And then I'm going to clear my pan. I had some ground chicken, one pound in the refrigerator already, but actually this recipe works good with ground turkey as well as ground beef. I haven't done it with pork, but that could work as well. Now I'm basically going to cook the chicken the same way, except I'm going to be adding in a teaspoon of my green seasoning and I will put that recipe in the description box. And I'm gonna be going in with some low sodium chicken bouillon and a little bit of dry basil or any sort of mixed herbs, especially like rosemary will work great for this and then really I'm just going to saute this until it's done cooking however you do want to go in with your spatula and just crush it up okay we ain't trying to bite into big chunks you know we got to spread out the meat you know really it's not that much meat in comparison to the vegetables so you don't want it to be you know too big of a chunks 
I also added a little bit of onion powder to this. I'm now going to mix together the veggies and the meat and I'm just going to let those veggies warm back up again just for about one more minute to 30 more seconds. Now if you've been enjoying this please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please let me know in the description box what other recipes you would like to see on my channel. I would love to do them for you guys. Okay love you. Now I am taking the peppers out the oven and I'm just going to flip them. You see that nice charred color you know that skin all wrinkly you know like your grandma you know what I'm saying well you know these days some of these grandmas young they ain't even got wrinkles but <laughs> I digress okay now I'm going to stuff these bell peppers to the max all right so I'm going to go in first and I'm going to fill them about half full and then I'm going to go in with some pepper jack cheese cubes really no need to shred it since it's going to be in the inside it's going to melt and put those inside okay don't got pepper jack cheese use another type of cheese okay don't think too deep about it baby all right then I'm going to go in and add some more of the stuffing this is like a one you know a, a one stop meal for me are you paired with a salad and then you know you're good to go or maybe paired with some mashed potatoes and you're good to go you see what I mean so I like to stuff a lot of meat up in there okay then I'm going to put some whole milk mozzarella cheese on the top of each one and I'm going to put it with a little parsley because y'all know I'm trying to be cute then I'm going to stick this back into the oven. It's still at 375 degrees and I'm going to let this cook for about 10 to 12 more minutes. Really until the cheese is nice and bubbly and brown. This is what I had left over. I probably could have stuffed one more bell pepper cut in half, but I ended up just eating it the next day with a veggie omelet. But you could also just pair that with some rice and that's just a good little side dish or a good little easy lunch right there. Now let me know in the comments what you're gonna eat this meal with and if you're going to make it because these were so delicious. I would love to know what version you make with the veggies that you have. Don't forget that I love you and Jesus loves you. God bless and see you next time. Goodbye.